I spent 26 years in the Air Force, mostly in space operations, operating some of our systems that we use to do intelligence gathering and forming our senior leadership and our warfighters around the world. The military communications mission is essential to everything that the, the DOD does. To provide continuous contact with forces deployed worldwide, our forces are so reliant on these space capabilities, we have to ensure they continue to operate even in contested scenarios where people are trying to degrade or deny us those capabilities. This is increasingly important in the Indo-Pacific area of operations where China specifically is fielding jamming capability and other capabilities that would affect our ability to communicate with forces, sensors, or weapon platforms as we get closer, particularly to the first island chain and Taiwan. Traditional legacy capabilities, while very exquisite, are not very resistant to some kind of attack, some kind of jamming attack, uh, some kind of on-orbit threats. And so one of the aspects that the department is embracing is this idea of resiliency through disaggregation. They have increasing demand for more comms, and they have the need and desire to procure smaller assets that can be built faster. If you split up your mission capability across smaller but more higher numbers of assets in orbit, you can become more resilient to a potential counter space effect than you can if you just have smaller numbers of very high value assets. Well, Astronus is, is building a small, highly maneuverable, radiation hard platform for GEO. That is something unique in, in the market right now. Late last year, we were honored to host Lieutenant General Gutlein, the commander of Space Systems Command. He came and visited our factory and showed him a live demonstration of those activities in our lab. That is an extremely fast timeline and really speaks volumes to how successful they saw us execute the, the earlier phase two SIBRs. The initial work is really to integrate their protected tactical waveform and their protected tactical enterprise service, which is their ground orchestration service, into our commercial micro geo platform. Protected tactical waveform is a government developed waveform with industry partners that offers more anti-jam capability than standard broadband communication waveforms. Big, uh, what we call OEMs, will always have a role because they do have such deep knowledge of the department's requirements and a history of fielding these exquisite capabilities. But again, those tend to be slower, longer term programs that aren't necessarily keeping up with the current threat. And when you pair that with really fast, innovative capabilities coming out of places like Astronus, you have the ability to pair both of those capabilities to, to really an all of the above kind of solution set to, to get after the most pressing needs. The exact same technology and innovation we're applying to our commercial market to dramatically lower the cost of access around the world are the exact attributes that the Department of Defense needs going forward with communication. You know, we are gonna be there with dozens of micro geos that can provide dedicated on-demand capacity. We see that growing over time.